Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got the Dirty Unicorn version 11.4 which is one of the most requested uh, ROM reviews I've gotten till date now. This is the weekly version so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Dirty Unicorn, I am guessing a lot of people do know about this. It's one of the best ROMs, or best recognized ROMs I would say. It does have a lot of recognition for uh, in the ROM community. It has gone through a lot of changes. So now, I have already done a few reviews of uh, Dirty Unicorns out of the past years. I, the last one which I did was for the version 11 based on Marshmallow or uh, the first iteration of Nogat. Let's get to the about then. Um, in this one it's going to be a little different. Now here is an application which does give you guys about this ROM. So yes you can see this was firstly based on a AOKP as I normally remember it as I mean Dirty Unicorn, the unicorn of AOKP. So that makes quite an impression. Then it changed to uh, yeah, Omni-ROM. The base was changed to Omni-ROM. It did have a lot of CM stuff. Now with Lineage it does still have a lot of Lineage stuff now. But it is right now based on AOSP with CAF sources. So it is essentially an AOSP CAF hybrid ROM. That makes it a very interesting ROM because most of the other ROMs which are CAF AOSP based are really cool i mean they work out very well so i do really like that now let's go to the settings and in that the about phone page and you can see in the about phone page it is 7.1.2 it is weekly and this is some security patch which is may 5 which is okay it's still may so i can still get that there is change log for the weeklies and officials from the settings menu you can do that and uh, the build date is 26 may so that is the version which i'm using incidentally enough i did make a uh, rom review for this for the previous week and uh, through some magic or something uh, probably my misunderstanding I lost the video. I actually had everything planned, everything scored, uh, all the stuff edited, but it was supposed to come after the uh, Lineage OS by Sultan XGA. That ROM went live. After that, this ROM review, which I did, was supposed to come up, but for some reason I forgot to upload it and then I lost the video. So here it goes. I'm making the video again. But most of my impressions of this ROM are still up to date so let's get started now first of all feature wise it does have quite a lot of features uh, that is uh, a kind of a new thing for me on DU because DU does have a lot of features I am not uh, saying that it doesn't have a lot of features but it does feel kind of lacking when compared to something like uh, the Action Remix or uh, AOSP CAF or something like that uh, extended AOSP or something like that. It does lack a little bit. So let's get started. Now, first of all, in the system, system settings, you do have expanded desktop, like most other ROMs. Device extra is where you have the gestures for screen off functions. Miscellaneous does have all of these. Flash screen notification, toast icon can be enabled. Screenshot type can be customized from here, so that's also there. Power menu options are available where you can customize what all stuff appears also. Animation can be customized, and I really like the bottom animation for the power menu. That's just something I like. Lock screen options, you do have fingerprint reboot unlock which is amazing I really do like that now fingerprint quick pull down I have enabled that but I still have not been able to use that I I, I presume this is for those phones with the fingerprint scanner in the back where you do have gestures for that this doesn't work that way so that's just there lock screen items you do have a customization for that you can even enable charging info for that so that's pretty cool status bar option you do get most of the bv of stuff so you do have uh, battery percentage uh, icon styles all that is available you do have carrier label which can be customized clock can be customized you do have alignment of clock to left center or right all of that is available notification stuff you can enable notification count you can also have breathing notification you do have power notification control which is also pretty cool if you are a power user and you would like to have that that's pretty nice to have now in the quick settings you do have options here so you do have a weather quick setting tile which is omni jaws which is available quick setting tiles can be customized from here you do have a quick setting tile layout which can be customized and that is really cool you do have scrolling quick settings rather than a small quick setting uh, option so that you do have that op that is 
pretty nice to have the status bar items you can customize what our uh, options are available in here you do have all of these uh, there is a VLT icon which I really really like in any ROM so I would have liked to have that kind of asking for too much but still it is available that does work out ticker options are available you can enable ticker for uh, any of them that tickers are basically kitkat style notifications on the status bar so that is available network traffic indicator is available and you can customize that to auto hide and uh, interval uh, can also be customized in the navigation stuff you do have button customization so you do have playback control no keyboard control which is normal AOSP uh, also you do have option for customizing back button home button and overview button for all three options which which is single tap long tap and uh, double tap so you do have that navigation bar can also be customized and this is the classic DUI setting with a uh, smart bar fling setting and navigation mode can be customized so that's also there also has pulse setting which is pretty cool and the multitask option you do have a uh, heads up display you can just disable that and there is a timeout option which is available there's no snooze customization which is something which I would have liked omni switch is also available and if you are a power user you know what omni switch is you don't really need much more explanation for that reason option you do have clear all FAB which you can enable and that will give you a little bit icon there that does work out really well uh, use uh, recent alternatives can be customized so you do have that option which is pretty nice now it does have an updater in build now you can update it from this device but it does download the full uh, installation rather than just the uh, just the updates which is required so you will download the full 474 megs which is kind of sad but hey that is better than nothing in my opinion so that is available now in the display option you do have adaptive brightness night light uh, screen saver now there is something else which I really found interesting this is called the ambient and lift to wake uh, ambient display well brightness setting so you can increase the ambient lift to wake brightness so whenever you lift your phone the brightness can be customized now this one is at the highest brightness and that is pretty cool and if you don't do that I mean brightness is just low so you can customize that uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure this option is available deep in the other settings also but uh well, I found this interesting now dashboard options are available where you can customize the number of uh, columns in the settings menu and also customize suggestion conditions and summaries apart from that there is gesture settings uh, for uh, double tap to sleep on the status bar and double tap anywhere on the lock screen for sleeping also double tap on the power button for camera which can be customized from here in the security settings you do have the normal stuff nothing special going on here you can enable scramble layout and I would keep it enabled it also has app ops if you are someone who uses that well, it is available and you can customize that. So, yeah, I guess that should be it about the features then. Again, as I've said, features are there. There are quite a lot of features from the stock lineage or AOSP ROMs. And I do really like the amount of features available. So, for a stock AOSP, I would give it a 4 out of 10. But for this amount of features, I'm going to give it a higher score, which is going to be a 6 out of 10. So, yeah, that's the score I'm going to give it. Now, the battery life. Battery life for me uh, was kind of underwhelming. Uh, for an AUSP CAF ROM, I was expecting a little bit more from this ROM. And uh, that has been the case for me with the previous uh, weekly version also. I was expecting a little bit more, but well, it doesn't really stack up that. Uh, the maximum screen on time which I got was about five, 4 hours and uh, that's just normal. I mean, yeah, nothing special to say about that. I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 about that. Now comes the performance and the performance has changed a little bit from my previous version. Previously on the, on the, on the last, uh, weekly release, the performance was about 132,831. On this release, the average was about 147,000 and I got the last run was about 148,860. That has improved. Not really sure what has changed to improve it by about 10,000 more. So that was pretty cool. So with the latest scores which I've received, the score is actually on the upper echelons of all the ROMs which I've tested, which is pretty amazing. But the Geekman score still has remained the same. I think I have not saved it, I'm not entirely sure, but anyways, the score which I received was about uh, 184, 1846 on the single core, 3717 on the multi score, and the compute score was about 3033, 7033, I'm sorry, so 7033 was the compute score, 
it's normal, nothing earth shattering or nothing uh, as different as the Antutu's benchmark score, but still it is on the normal level as I would expect with a custom ROM. So performance, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 because I got better performance than normal. So that's pretty cool. Now the stability of ROM, everything works great. I did not have any issues with that. Uh, camera works, it's, it is the normal Google camera. So there's honestly nothing else to work. Uh, so that is just there. Camera quality is also pretty nice. Uh, everything does work out. I didn't really have any issues with uh, much stuff. So I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 for just working. So that's just there. Now comes the camera quality. Um, and as I've already said, camera is pretty much the same. It is the Google camera. It takes photographs. It didn't really blow me away with anything else. So yeah, that's just about it. Nothing special going on about it. It does have a camera HAL 3. So that does work out with Google camera. So yeah, that's just it. So I'm gonna give it a five out of 10 for camera. Now comes the aesthetics. As you can see, the uh, aesthetics are a little bit different. It does have substratum support, so that is pretty cool. I do like substratum on any ROM. The icons are a little bit different, so that does give it an edge over everything else. So yeah, aesthetically, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 because it is pretty new. So there you have it. That is the uh, ROM, which is Dirty Unicorn. I actually like this ROM a lot. It does work out. I do like most of the stuff which is available in this one. Although I cannot really find anything too unique about this, but I still like this ROM as a daily driver. It's a very good ROM. It does get updated weekly and it works out really well. And for the overall quality, I'm gonna give you a, give it a seven out of 10 because the battery is the only thing which actually let me down because I was expecting a little bit more. I didn't get that. But apart from that, everything works out. I didn't really have any issue with even the OLT. The features also are also pretty decent for the ROM. I do really like that. Overall score is going to be a 7 out of 10 for that. Let me show you guys the boot animation, which is pretty amazing. So here is the boot animation for Dirty Unicorn. And uh, honestly, every time I see it, this, I see this. I mean, I'm a reminder of the droid. Motorola Droid and uh, I really like that boot animation so it's pretty cool and it finishes off on a dirty unicorn so yeah that's pretty cool I guess that much is it about the ROM then as I've already said I like this ROM but personally I cannot find anything different about this that makes me want to like it I mean Resurrection Remix it is a king of features that's why I like it uh, EOSP Extended it has a very good battery life and it does still have a lot of features, that's why I like it. Lineage by Sultan XTA, it has the best battery life with Lineage and it has a killer battery life, that's why I like it. But for this ROM, I can't really say what I like about this, but I wouldn't mind using this as my daily driver, so that is a very good ROM in my opinion. So overall, total, it's gonna be a 6 out of 10. But that's just the scoring by the math I gave it, the scores on the individual stump. But I still feel the ROM is better than the sum of its parts. So yeah, that's just it. Hope you guys liked the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.